What's up, everybody? I know it's been a minute since I had made a video and definitely a little bit longer since I made a film study, so probably going to be a little bit rusty, but hey, life's been busy. Life's lots of fun. Boxing for them sure ain't life. Not for me. I just happen to uh, know a thing or two about it. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this fight that just happened earlier today between Inoue Naoya and Jamie McDonald. Because I have been following this kid's career since the beginning. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I think he's overrated. Which is not to say he sucks. I think he's a good fighter. I just haven't seen me personally, myself. The type of skill for me to say that he's a top 10 pound for pound fighter in the world. Which isn't to say that it isn't there. But at the very least, worst case scenario. Um, or maybe best case scenario. He hasn't had the type of opponent in front of him that would bring that out out of him. And uh, worst case scenario, the kid is a total hype job. I don't have an opinion either way. All I could go on is what I see in the ring. And, well, that's why I like to do film studies. No fanboying over here on this channel. I keep it real. You don't have to, though. Let me say something about pound for pound. Because a lot of people seem to think that Inoue is a pound-for-pound -pound fighter. Some people don't. I'm one of those people who doesn't believe that he's a pound-for-pound -pound fighter. Look, the skill could be there again. He just hasn't shown it. And I can't just give him credit, right? And there are a lot of different permutations of the pound-for-poundness or a way of arranging this highly acclaimed mythical bullshit list right but me being a purist when it comes to boxing in every sense of the word i adhere to the pound for pound the definition of pound for pound the original one right it has very little Sometimes nothing to do with your resume, right? The pound for pound list is not a resume comparison. Why? Because that's a resume comparison. What pound for pound is, is a list of who you think the best fighters in the world are based on scale. Now, resume can become important. It's sort of a confirmation, right? If you put a guy on a pound for pound list, well, he better back it up, right? Or it could prove that, well, you were wrong about the person. If he loses a fight, he's not supposed to, right? Maybe maybe you overrated him. Maybe he didn't deserve to be on the pound for pound list. Well, hey, maybe he slipped on a banana peel. Shit happens. It's boxing, right? I look at skill. I don't compare resumes because, well, that's not what pound for pound was designed to be originally. And we're going to slow this down to 75% and sometimes less than that or even slower one thing I wanted to mention because I think it's very relevant and important allegedly Jamie McDonald came into the ring at 144 pounds which means that after weighing in at 118 or what was it 117 and a half he rehydrated 26 pounds at least. 26 pounds. That's roughly 22% of his weigh-in weight. And if, let's say, he were a welterweight like Errol Spence Jr., that would mean him rehydrating 32 pounds. Right? Just, just for comparison's sake. Because some people might say, well, you know, 
Lamont Peterson rehydrated 26 pounds. Yeah, but Lamont Peterson is a much bigger man. This is this is as if Lamont Peterson hydrated back up something like 30 pounds. That's incredible, okay? Now, there are few fighters who are able to do that for very short periods of their career and still be strong and successful. But more often than not, if you're rehydrating that type of weight, you're basically dead at the weight. You're useless, okay? More often than not. And seeing as Jamie McDonald is huge, he's been fighting at this weight for a while and ain't no fucking way in hell he's going to be at 118 in his next fight. I guarantee that. And if he were... His plans were to stay at 122, sorry, 118. He should have, or he surely would have um, signed up for the Bantamweight tournament, right? Not fought this fight, but signed up for the tournament and made more money. But maybe I'm speculating a little bit too much. Let's watch the fucking fight. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> so... Inoue does a pretty good job of maintaining distance. A lot of bouncing. Not a fan of that. You can be. You can get away with it sometimes against some opponents. Not against pound for pound level fighters though. And another thing about Jamie McDonald. I just wanted to point out how the entire online boxing community has been riding the guy's dick for about a decade now. How he's made appearances on everybody's top ten, sometimes even making an appearance in the top five pound for pound list, right? We've been so excited and so impressed by his career. And I'm going to stop bullshitting now because he's an okay fighter, right? <laughs> yes, I know. Inoue moved up in weight. And this is, you know, a credible opponent, good victory, blah, 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 blah. But let's not act like Jamie McDonald is some hot stuff either, okay? And another thing, he's fucking weight drained. Anyway, very basic boxer, Jamie McDonald, falling off balance already. I don't know if... I haven't watched much of him. I saw his fights with uh, Kameda, was it? A long time ago and was never impressed by the guy but hey just slightly falling off balance very flat footed he's doing all the right things right now right and Ino is just maintaining distance a lot of bouncing from McDonald also right oop Jab to the body. Jab to the body rocks him. Now, is Inoue that strong? Or is Jamie McDonald mm, not that strong himself? Or drain that the way? Or was it just good timing? Probably a little bit of all three. <laughs> Two punches by Inoue, nothing lands, right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Look at his feet. All over the place, right? I wish we could see more, but it is what it is. But he re-establishes re distance after he doesn't lend any of his punches. Um, why isn't Jamie McDonald dropping the right hand? I don't know. I don't know. Seems to be there, right? Inoue is pretty fast on his feet. The lateral movement's pretty good. He stepped off the line a little bit there. Maybe that's why the right hand wasn't there. But, you know, this is what I've been complaining about when it comes to Inoue. Um, he basically just lunges in with both of his hands down. And I know he's changing levels and he's pretty fast and ferocious and Jamie McDonald is drained and probably fucking scared for his dear life because some Yakuza mob bosses made an appearance in his dressing room before the fight. Hey, I wasn't supposed to be speculating. But anyway, why isn't he... Um, he seems to have a beat on him just a little bit with the left hand. I'm not saying he's controlling him very well, but kind of. Um, why isn't he dropping the right hand? Weird. See? Had control. Mm, 
he did drop the right hand. But Inoue just kind of grabbed him and forced, caused a head clash, right? But this has been my problem with Inoue, right? As explosive, as, as exciting as he is, <clears throat> not very accurate to begin with. I know it's just the first round. He also is wide open for punches, right? See, he's got control on him, but... For some reason, all that bouncing, I guess, from Jamie McDonald doesn't allow him to keep his feet set or it takes him a while to set his feet. And by the time he brings the right hand in there, Inoue, well, just happened to be throwing his left hook. And why why didn't McDonald land that punch? Did anybody else think that's weird? I mean, it, it looked to be there, right? Look, he's got good control of his opponent. Okay, control, especially right there. Bam, dropped the right hand. I don't know. Maybe it just took him too long. Doesn't have good timing. Uh, but the opportunity was there, right, for a quicker fighter that doesn't bounce around a lot. It's not drained at the weight. And, you know, maybe he isn't just a domestic level British fighter. Okay, European. He does have the WBA. Did have the WBA regular belt, right? Okay, this is one thing I didn't like, seeing as I am a purist. Inoue was landing a lot of rabbit punches. Some of them look accidental. Some of them look uh, very intentional, right? Like that one. Wrist. It's just, just all kinds of illegal shit right here, right? Um, Jamie McDonald cowers. He's scared. I mean, that punch didn't even land, right? Like, did it hurt or anything? Or is he just afraid? I think he's scared. There's another rabbit punch. Not sure it lands very cleanly or at all. One thing that's, that I like about Inoue is the body work, right? The body punches are really good. He's, he's very good at loading up and delivering left hooks to the body on... Um, all these tall and skinny guys he seems to like to fight. Hmm. But anyway, again, we see Inoue being very inaccurate with his punches, uh, meaning his punches are not on target, except to the body, right? That looked like it maybe hurt. I don't know. Jamie McDonald seems fine, just mentally shaken or something. Boom. How do you just let a guy walk in on you like that, load up on the left hand to the body, and just take it? Like, how do you... Right? Wide punches, telegraphed. Now, I give Inoue credit. He does faint a little bit. But it's always the same thing. Or did he? I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Inoue... Fainted, I guess you could say. And Jamie McDonald is just cowering, right? He's not throwing the jab. He's not throwing the straight right hand. He's not trying to time him on the way in with Inoue being wide open for punches, right? Again, he is changing levels. He is quick. So I'm not saying it's easy, but goddamn, are you there to win the fight? Or are you there just to cower, cover, and quit? Not sure that body shot landed. Didn't look to be very effective. Maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. Hard to say. McDonald seems okay, physically. Mentally, I don't know, man. Nothing on that jab. See how he fell off balance there? Like, I don't mean to overanalyze, but man, he's probably just weak, right? Can't keep his, keep his feet under him very well. A lot of bouncing. Jazza Dickens, anybody? <laughs> but Inoue is not taking advantage of that. Nice punch technique by, by Inoue. That's one thing uh, he definitely does have. Unless he's rabbit punching you, right? Or hitting you with the wrist. He tends to turn over his left hook very well. And even though Jamie is ducking right there, he times him pretty well and catches him high on the head. Maybe a little bit behind the head, but that's not Inoue's fault, right? 
Oh, no. Grazing punch. Didn't quite get him there. But good awareness. Pretty decent timing. You know, it's early. Um, just not quite there yet, maybe. Some fainting by Inoue. Trying to set up the right hand, looks like. Maybe left hand to the body. See? See that little bounce by Inoue? And McDonald is bouncing too, right? Both of these guys are pretty amateur still. See how Inoue bounces? Boop! And Jamie McDonald is able to time him. Doesn't land, right? And give Inoue credit for parrying that shot. But one example of how bouncing is, you know, not anything a professional fighter should be doing in my opinion definitely not a top 10 pound for pound guy you know what i mean unless he has amazing incredible athleticism and he can get away with you know being roy jones jr but even roy jones jr can get away with that shit once he fought good fighters but hey moving on if that weren't drained at the weight of course right hey reminds you of anything very insecure jab from McDonald, but his length is what saves him here, right? Inoue has a very hard time closing the distance, and Jamie McDonald is doing a decent enough job of controlling his opponent, right? And controlling distance, right? Inoue can't touch him. One, two, three. Very inaccurate. Maybe it's just this fight, I don't know. But, uh,. What did Inoue land? One of ten punches or so, so far. 10% connect percentage. Pound for pound? Anybody? Yeah? Okay. Decent job of control by McDonald. No jab by Inoue, but that could be because Jamie has what? couple inches, inch and a half of reach advantage per arm. Right, but no jabbing. Maybe he just doesn't respect them at all, right? He's just sitting there. He's not really getting hit with the jab because it's it's a fucking limp ass punch. Here we go again with a kind of a wrist, kind of a rabbit. I'm gonna say it's it was Inoue's game plan to, to rabbit punch in this fight. I mean, you know, shit happens, but when shit keeps happening over and over, that's no longer shit happening. That's a pattern. Um, I'm going to say it's deliberate. Um, not too accurate, right? Didn't land. Not a legal blow anyway. But, you know, when you have a fighter in front of you, it kind of landed with the wrist, kind of cuffed him a little bit, maybe slightly to the back of the head, I'm not sure, maybe on the shoulder, maybe it just pushed him off balance. Whatever the case may be, McDonald's legs look weak as hell, don't they? He looks weak. Yeah, might have something to do with draining yourself. Look at that. He's so wobbly from what? Why is he so wobbly? Is Inua really... I mean, that punch doesn't even land, right? That doesn't even land. Look at him. Look how wobbly he is. There we go. Doesn't land. Where are we at? Like, 1 out of 15 now? I'm not trying to hate, guys. I just fucking hate all this fanboyish gushing over a, a fighter because you're just racing to be, you know... The first guy on the scene to say, I told you so. I've been watching this guy since... <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to boxing. Damn. Complete and utter miss, right? Hmm. What if Jamie McDonald wasn't scared or drained and he was a good fighter? And as he was ducking, maybe used some footwork to step around and... Land some body punches right there. I don't know. Maybe an uppercut. Eh, who knows. Complete miss. But there goes that body shot. And even though it looks like he gets blocked. You know, I'm not going to say Inoue is not a strong guy. He's, he's shown strength at the lower 
weight divisions and even though he's moved up he still looks pretty strong right but that punch didn't land cleanly. McDonald just has no legs. That dude has no legs. He's he, he, We saw it, right? Loses his balance, falls on his ass. Did the punch even land, really? Didn't look like it. Just looks like it threw him off balance. What is he doing? What is McDonald doing? He didn't he didn't double over from a body shot, right? And wince and and you know grab his liver and and show us that he's hurt by a body punch, right? He got knocked over off balance because he doesn't have any balance. Maybe he's still dazed from that shot. I don't know. Maybe he was. I'm not saying Inoue doesn't hit hard, but let, let's keep it real, guys, man. He's very inaccurate, maybe just in this fight. And his opponent's just weak as fuck. We can't see it, but I don't think that lands because that's where Jamie McDonald's uh, elbow is. Maybe he got around that elbow, right? But look, it just threw him off balance. You don't... You know, body shots have delayed reaction. He's he's trying to get up right away. Well, he got to his knees right away. He wasn't on the canvas wincing, grabbing his um, his midsection. Right? He's trying to... Look, he, he could still be dazed from that other punch. He's trying to shake his legs out. Your body is hurting, right? You're not jumping around. Fuck no. Anyway, I think he's dead. He was dead at the weight. That's just my opinion. Go watch that way in. See if you disagree. Nothing, right? Takes a jab on the way in. Naoya Inoue, because he has shown throughout his career that he has poor defense when he gets very offensive, right? And look, some people might say, oh, you're a tough critic, but that's part of being a a critic isn't it and yeah you're gonna say the guy's pound for pound i'm gonna put him to the pound for pound standard and you know it's not a good sign and this isn't just the first fight that this is happening we i've shown you before the guy gets gung-ho starts swinging wildly drops his hand and walks into punches it's just what he does now that could be a function of him fighting somebody he do he doesn't respect who doesn't have any uh, punching power what is it 20 percent knockout ratio <laughs> sorry about that so maybe in a way it's just saying fuck defense i just want to you know look impressive and blah 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 uh, the noobs won't know any any better, right? Basically, maybe could very well be that he's doing that, right? But the point is, he's in the ring with somebody who he can do that against because he's in the ring against a bum. I'm not saying Jamie McDonald and his career uh, that he's a bum, right? He has, he has had a bum career, but the fighter in this ring, for whatever reason that I already outlined, fear being probably the most important one, is a bum. And I'm sorry, you don't look impressive against bums by letting them hit you. But then again, maybe if Jamie McDonald had speed, power, boxing skill and wasn't afraid, or more boxing skill, sorry, uh, maybe Inoue, that would force Inoue to show us more, right? And then we could say, yeah, that was a pound-for-pound -pound level performance. This right here, right now, ain't, right? Look at that. I mean, honestly, like, I'm not trying to hate guys, but you tell me what you see, right? Wild miss, swing and a miss. Falls off balance, catches his balance, gets closer. Boom! Caught a right hand, right? But it doesn't matter because he's stronger. He's the monster. He could take punches. He can walk and punch through this guy, which is basically what he's been doing up until this point. In his entire career, right? Wild swinging, squared up, wide open for punches, right? 
lends the left hand while swinging left hand on McDonald and a right hand. I'm not sure why McDonald isn't throwing any punches. There he lands a nice little left hook. McDonald just nothing. Oh, there he landed a partial blow. Jesus, what's what did he land in this fight? Four out of like twenty-five punches. McDonald just has no punch resistance. It's not like he he took the punch and you know it turned his lights out or anything, right? That's not what happened here, is it? He just has, the guy has no punch resistance. He had no desire to win this fight. He was deathly afraid. And, well, <sighs> fix fight, guys. Many ways to fix a fight. Many ways to hype a fighter. Some pretty good betting opportunities coming up. Keep hyping this dude up. Keep hyping him up. Because one day he's going to get in the ring with a guy that's not afraid. With a guy that's quicker than McDonald. With a guy that has more punching power than McDonald. And if he does this against that guy, he's going to get knocked out. He may knock him out. It might be a matter of who lands first. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But, you know, to me, Naoya Inoue hasn't proved to be... Look at that. Wide open, right? Squared up right in front of his opponent, lined up. Rolls that punch, right? But doesn't land his own either. Didn't land anything. Takes a jab and a right hand. <laughs> oh, it doesn't pick his hands up, just keeps swinging wildly. Right? Grazes, doesn't really land. There he lands a punch. Look at Jamie McDonald's reaction. Oh, the guy's just useless, man. Let's keep it real. What why what is he doing, man? It wasn't even really a clean punch. Nothing there. Blocks that punch. Doesn't get hit by that. Right? Oh, he's drunk, man. The dude is just has no punch resistance. Even though that doesn't land, I'm sure it didn't feel good. Inoue's just swinging wildly at him, right? Not setting up these punches, missing most of them. And McDonald goes down. Why? The fight gets waved off. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the referee knows what he saw. He knows McDonald ain't there to win. He's there to lie down. I mean, come on, guys. Even though you're in there with a the bum, right? Show me, you could show me something else. Just wild swinging, right? Look at, look at, look at what Inoue is doing, guys. Jamie McDonald. Drop the jab. Drop, drop the right hand. Hit this guy. He's giving you a huge fucking target. Chin up in the air. Wide open. His left hand, like he cocks it back to where it's behind his head. Right? So you see it coming. The right hand is almost by his waist. Chin up in the air. Head in front. Are you there to win the fight? And if so, why don't you take a little step in? And as you're taking the step in, stiff jab or right hand. Something, man. You do this in front of this version of Nonito Donaire. I'm not talking about prime Nonito. This version of Nonito. And you're sleeping on the canvas. Don't believe me? Look at the Vetieka fight. Now I know he didn't sleep the guy, but Inoue ain't that big, is he? And Nonito actually worked to set that punch up and Vetieka wasn't walking in like a dumbass. Just trying to make you guys some money, that's all. When the right time comes. 
anyway, right? Mrs. Wildly. Now, Jamie McDonald did the wrong thing there. He should have been stepping in, not stepping out. Is he there to win the fight? I don't think so. Right? He still got the target. Inua never took the target away from him. It's still all there. Look, fell off balance. Now he's picking his hands up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, Nonito sleeps this dude. Come on. Unless Inoue shows us something else, right? But we can only judge him based on what he's showing us right now. And we're... <laughs> oh, you guys are impressed by this performance. Really. If McDonald had punching power, this dude would be sleeping right now. Come on, man. You can't just give your opponent these shots and call yourself pound for pound or have people call you that. Right? Doesn't land his punch. Takes another one. Boom! Uh, not very cleanly, I suppose. Still, the target's still there. Right? Target's still there. It's moving a little bit. Boom! Right? So what's happening here? Jamie McDonald is the only one landing clean punches, right? He's the only one landing clean punches. Inoue is just punching through the guy, hitting his gloves. So why is he winning this particular fight, Inoue? Why? Because he's much stronger than his weight drain opponent. Not because he's more skillful. It's because he's much stronger. Remember that. Booms. The target's still there, right? Very little head movement from Inoue. There, he lands a good punch. And McDonald just... Jesus Christ, he's just useless, guys. I'm sorry, he's on the ropes. After that left hook, nothing landed cleanly, right? He just crumpled because he didn't come to win the fight. Or he was physically unable to put in the type of effort necessary to win the fight. Right? He, he's able to slip Inoue's punches. Well, not in this instance. That didn't even land cleanly. It hit the shoulder first. Right? Look how inaccurate Inoue is. He's not setting anything up. You, you guys know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Guillermo Rigondiao coming up through the ranks and knocking out undermined, compromised, overrated, unknown, bomb opponents, right? Looking great and everyone saying how awesome and amazing he was. And Rigondia was better than Inoue. Maybe not as strong. Wild swinging, no setups. Come on, man. I'm not a fucking noob, man. I know what I'm looking at. Anyway, Inoue could be a pound-for-pound -pound level fighter, but the type of guys he's been fighting, he for damn sure hasn't shown it, hasn't proved it. Uh, I'm excited to see him. Well, I wouldn't say that much, but I'm interested in seeing him in this Bantamweight tournament. Um, that's going to be that's gonna be interesting. That's going to hopefully provide some answers for us given that I'm going to assume he's not going to be fighting all these fixed fights with no hopers. And, um, you know, Solani Tete can crack. If that's Solani Tete catching you clean like that, when you, when you get a little overhyped and, and excited because you think you hurt him and, and you don't realize he's playing possum, you just might go to sleep. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here.